On day one, I was an ice hydra lounging inside one of my mini courtyards. I looked over ancient Greece, which was now a frozen wasteland thanks to my power. It's good to be on top. Suddenly, the almighty Zeus appeared before me. Dreaded ice hydra, I and the other Greek gods, Hercules, Poseidon, Ares, Aphrodite, Artemis, and Hades, will do everything in our power to defeat you and restore Greece to its former glory. I'd like to see you try. I went after Zeus with everything I had, but he withstood my ice magic without even flinching. It was almost as if I had no effect on the god. He shot at me with powerful bolts of lightning and sat my health down bit by bit, but I wasn't about to lose. Zeus caught me off guard and removed one of my heads. Unfortunately for him, I was able to grow back two more. Haha, <laughs> fool! You're only making me stronger! So you think. Suddenly, Zeus took out a mysterious artifact, causing my powers to get drained from me. Before I knew it, almost all of my ice powers were gone, and I now only had ten hearts. I even went back to only three heads. Try fighting me now. Zeus charged me. I knew I was too weak to take him on anymore, so I made a run for it. On day two, I was being pursued by the God of Thunder. Zeus stabbed powerful bolts of lightning all around me, which I did my best to evade. He managed to hit me, but as an Ice Hydra, I had natural healing abilities, giving me the strength to keep moving. Suddenly, I spotted a cave and quickly ducked inside to hide. Phew, I think I lost him. Just then, I heard hissing from inside the cave. I turned around and discovered I was face to face with Medusa. Die, intruder! Wait, wait, wait! We're both snakes! Without hesitation, I was turned to stone. As I was frozen in stone, I began wondering what I'd rather be doing. And then it hit me. I could be on the field of battle driving the coolest military vehicles from different countries and time periods. And I could be doing it for free. That's right. I'm talking about War Thunder, the best free multiplayer game out there where you get to fight with a wide assortment of military vehicles, from awesome ground tanks to sweet jet fighters to battleships. And it's a great time to use my download link to get into the game because they just launched the Sky Guardians update. In this, you can use the Yak-141 for vertical takeoffs, the iconic Little Bird helicopter, and for the first time, you'll be able to command the warships of the French fleet. Not only is there new hardware, but there's also new locations. Pyrenees is the perfect backdrop for aerial battles with its picturesque sky. There's even fresh new winter variants for existing maps. As always, War Thunder brings players a realistic experience, with wide customization for its massive arsenal of vehicles. The latest update, though, brings even more realism to the game, where various parts fly off of a tank when you hit it, tear ships to shred, and riddle planes with bullets in real time. So don't wait. Download War Thunder for free now, using the link in the description. And all new players and those who haven't entered War Thunder for six months or more will receive 100,000 Silver Lions, a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles as a gift forever, XP boosters, a week of premium account, and other bonuses. Hurry up and get all of these from the link in the description. The season of German gifts will soon come to an end. Thanks War Thunder for sponsoring this video. On day three, I woke up inside of a mysterious courtyard. I gotta get out of here. I quickly began to approach the exit when a bunch of lizard guards came out of nowhere. I clashed with a group of lizard guards and gave it everything I had. Luckily, I still had the ability to breathe frost breath. The guards ran at me with their axes raised high in the air. They may have been little, but they were persistent. I didn't know if I could keep up with their overwhelming numbers, but I kept fighting as hard as I could. I blasted them down with my ice abilities and crushed their numbers bit by bit. After a long battle, I managed to overpower the guards. Great! Now to leave. I turned towards the exit only to find Medusa waiting for me. She encased my body in a block of stone. What are you gonna do with me? I'm going to give you to Zeus for some cash. Mm. He's already on his way. I can offer you something greater, though. Power! Is that so? Then maybe you are useful to me. Medusa freed me from the block of stone, and Zeus appeared. Hand over the ice hydra. Nah. Suddenly, she turned Zeus into stone. Run! On days four through seven, Medusa and I fled the courtyard and found a safe spot to talk. What does Zeus want with you anyway? The gods are trying to overthrow me. I need to get my powers back and take them down before they can. Well, if the gods are really after you, we better secure a base. 
the two of us scattered out a spot and began to work on our own base. I plan to make my very own personal Ice Olympus. I built the main structure out of snow and ice, including the pillars and walls of my new temple. I even added a roof on top to defend us from the weather. After a lot of work, I got the main temple structure done, full of details made of snow and ice. After finishing the foundations, I added a room for Medusa, complete with plant life just like her garden home. Not bad. Take this. She handed me over some food as thanks. Just then, I spotted a winged horse trot by the base. Wait, is that Pegasus? If he's here, then Hercules isn't far. I stealth behind in hopes of getting some intel. On days 8 through 11, I followed Pegasus towards a training ground on a cloud in the sky. That must be Wonder Boy's base. How am I gonna get there? Just then, I spotted a waterfall coming off the side of the cloud. Perfect! I used my ice powers to freeze the waterfall solid and began to scale up the side of it. As an ice hydra, I was able to climb up vertical surfaces. When I reached the top, I spotted a satyr and Hercules having an argument. Fine! Find yourself a new trainer! See if I care! Hercules ran off, leaving the satyr all alone. Maybe I can get that guy on my side. I slithered up to the satyr and started talking to him. Man, that guy stinks. What a jerk! Right? Who are you? That name's Max. How about this? You train me, and I'll show you he's taking advantage of you. You got yourself a deal. You can call me Danny. Just like that, I began my training with Danny. He made me undergo a variety of difficult tasks to improve my abilities. Although it was challenging, I managed to overcome each and every one of them. At the end of my training, I gained three more hearts. You did well, kid. I think it's time for you to face Eck. On days 12 through 15, Danny took me to a fighting arena where Hercules was waiting. Introducing my newest student, you ungrateful demigod. That's your new student? He's the evil ice hydra I have to take down. He's the one who caused the eternal winter. Uh-oh. Thanks for the help, Danny. The two of us charged at full speed and clashed at the center of the arena. Despite him being only a demigod, he was a tough opponent. He flew into the sky to avoid my attacks, but luckily, Danny trained me well with the bow. He struck relentlessly with his golden sword, chasing me in circles, flying away to create distance. Get back here, you coward! The demigod caught me off guard and took one of my heads. Unfortunately for him, I grew back two more, granting me five more hearts and a new ice power. Let's try this out! I began to leave trails of ice in my path, empowering my ice abilities and making it hard for Hercules to keep his footing. I used my new powers to my advantage and continued my attacks on the demigod. Finally, I managed to take out Pegasus and slayed Hercules quickly after, bringing me one step closer to reclaiming my temple. Oh no, Zeus is gonna be furious with me. Then join my team instead. Huh, I'll join, but you have to help me with a favor first. On days 16 through 18, I followed Danny to find a damsel being chased around by a cyclops. All right, go save that woman and tell her it was all my idea. Huh? Why are you getting the glory? Don't worry about it. I shrugged it off and charged in to confront the Cyclops. Hey, leave her alone. I began to fight it out with the oversized beast. He had powerful fists that he smashed down onto me for massive damage. I did my best to evade him and retaliate with my own attacks. I shot at the beast with my bow, but he got too close. I bit at his ankles, but he pulled on my tail. I tried to lose him with my ice powers, but he followed me. Stay away, ugly. After a while, I managed to hit the Cyclops in the eye, blinding him. Oh, thank you, Ice Hydra. Uh, it was all Danny's idea? Okay, see ya. The damsel left and Danny came over to me looking a bit defeated. Okay, so I kept my end. You're joining the team. Ah, fine. She wasn't the one anyways. On days 19 through 21, I returned to the base and got to work on some expansions. I started by making a room for Danny. I made sure it was full of plants and fur, perfect for a satyr like himself. Next, I made training grounds for me to continue building my strength. Zeus and others won't stand a chance. As I finished up, I noticed that Danny was admiring Medusa from afar. Whoa, who's that? She's so pretty. That's Medusa. I get lost in those eyes. Stare too long and you might end up like that guy. While Danny was distracted, I decided to look for some food for us to eat. I slayed a few cows and cooked up their steak for later. This should hold me off for a while. I traveled a little and spotted a graveyard in the distance. I felt something drawing me closer to it, so I moved in to get a closer look. There, I discovered one of the graves was a bottomless hole in the ground. I better not fall in there. Suddenly, an undead mob popped out of nowhere and grabbed me, pulling me down into the depths below. <laughs> On days 22 through 25, I woke up inside of the underworld surrounded by undead mobs. 
Yikes! It's hot down here! I began to blast away at the horde with my ice powers, but the mobs took it like it was nothing. I couldn't freeze a single one of them thanks to the heat of the underworld. The heat is weakening my powers! If only I had more power! Just like that, I gained a new ice ability. Whoa, maybe there are some gods on my side. The undead mobs continued their onslaught, flying at me and hitting me with their explosive screech attacks. Little did they know, I now had empowered Frost Breath. I shot my new ability at the Horde, causing me to slow them and tear through their armor. Once I weakened them enough, I went in with my teeth and finished the job one by one. If the undead is after me, then Hades must be my next opponent. I better find him and get out of here. I kept moving deeper into the underworld until I stumbled upon an entrance. Surrounding the structure was an ocean of lava. I have to be careful not to fall. Just then, the god of death, Hades, appeared before me. Thanks for coming right to me. Mock me while you can. You're going down. You really think that you can fight me? I have a god dog for that. The almighty Cerberus emerged around the entrance. Sick him, boy. I began to fight off the oversized dog, being careful to avoid his powerful jaws. Cerberus was able to snap at me with multiple heads at once, making it hard to avoid his attacks. Cerberus started the fight by summoning a mini Cerberus. I took aim with my bow, but the arrows burned up in the heat. He huffed and puffed in blue scorching flames, but I countered with my ice breath. Then Cerberus summoned even more minions. Too many heads to count! Cerberus's fire was too hot. I had no choice but to run. Despite my efforts, I was beginning to lose the fight. Just then, I got an idea. I pulled out an item from my inventory and attempted to get the big dog's attention. Hey Cerberus, come and get me. Fetch! The three-headed hound came barreling towards me to grab the food I threw, but in the process ran off the edge of the platform. He fell over the edge and plummeted into the lava below. No, my precious little puppy! You'll pay for that! In a fit of rage, Hades came at me with everything he had. As the god of death, Hades had a multitude of incredible powers. He was able to fire different kinds of skull projectiles at me and shoot scorching hot flames. I had to be careful not to get hit too much, otherwise I would melt in seconds. I tried to retaliate with my ice crystal, but Hades was able to summon pincers from the ground below which withered me for extra damage. The god of death tried to take me out in one foul swoop, but he only managed to take one of my heads. I sprouted two more in its place, gained five hearts, and an ice dragon bone sword. With my new power, I was able to attack up close and personal. Each slice from the sword would cause Hades to turn into a block of ice. His movements were slowed greatly, and I was able to hit him with even more attacks. Thanks to my new strength, I took down the god of death. Woohoo! Two down! Suddenly, lightning rained down from the sky and Zeus appeared before me. You've killed one of my brothers. He kind of sucked, but you're still going to pay. On days 30 through 33, the mighty god Zeus stood before me. He began to conjure lightning attacks at me, zapping away my health with each attack he managed to land. I tried to fight back, but after fighting both Hades and Cerberus, I was feeling much weaker. Come on, this isn't fair. Zeus had me cornered and eventually shot a lightning attack that blasted me off the edge of the platform. I fell down towards the lava below, just like Cerberus. So long, you pest. The god of thunder left. Luckily, I managed to catch myself on something before hitting the lava. That was close. Zeus is incredibly powerful. I can't underestimate him. Along the shore, I spotted one of Cerberus's heads nearby, which I kept as a trophy. I continued to explore the underworld until I spotted a portal leading back home. Ah, I can't wait for some snow. I went through it, but when I reached the other side, I realized that my blizzard had stopped. Zeus has already begun to undo my work. I have to take out the gods as soon as I can. I quickly rushed towards the direction of my base but spotted a group of Chilus struggling to survive in the new climate. Please help, the gods destroyed our home. It's too hot for us to survive. Don't worry, I got this. I used my ice abilities to freeze the area once again. The Chilus immediately lightened up. I feel amazing. Would it be okay if we stayed with you? Sure, us ice mobs have to stick together. On days 34 through 36, I returned to the base to find that it had stayed frozen. All right. Time to get to work. I started to expand the base and built a residential area for all of my new Chilu friends. I built them each their own igloo so they could stay nice and cold. Afterwards, I built an ice skating rink so they could have some fun at the base. This is amazing. I still can't believe Poseidon destroyed our old home. Poseidon? Like the god of the sea? That's the guy. After he destroyed our home, he returned back to Atlantis. 
Looks like I know where I'm headed next. Before setting off, I went mining to prepare for the journey ahead. I mined some iron and coal and smelted some ingots. Afterwards, I crafted some iron armor. I'm feeling much more sturdy. I started to exit the cave when I noticed a passageway. Huh, where does this lead? I slithered through it and discovered a massive godly door that was sealed shut. Whatever's inside there must be something that can help me defeat the gods. But how do I get inside? Suddenly, a powerful figure faced through the door. To pass these walls and be granted the power within, you must have defeated Poseidon, the god of the sea. Perfect. I was on my way to do that anyway. With all the necessary preparations made, I began my quest to find Poseidon. On days 37 through 40, I traveled across the ocean using my ice walking powers. After a while, I finally spotted a city in the middle of the ocean. This must be the place. I continued forward, but was immediately confronted by Atlantean warriors. State your business here, Hydra. I'm here to destroy the god of the ocean. Step aside. Not before facing us first. The warriors all swarmed me to protect their god. The warriors swam towards me, but I froze them in their tracks. They defrosted quickly, and their numbers were great. I sunk them to the ocean floor with my ice powers, but there were more and more reinforcements. I didn't have time to think. The warriors continued to attack me, and I fought them off from the surface of the water. After I took down a few of them, I noticed one of them had dropped a potion of swim speed. This will come in handy. I drank the potion, which gave me increased speed in the water. With the help of this new ability, I took down the rest of the Atlantean army. Atlantis, here I come! On days 41 through 43, I traversed the city of Atlantis in search of Poseidon. As I searched, I decided to ask some of the locals for help. Excuse me, have you seen Poseidon around here? Ah, the ice age of here! The mermaid then ran away in a hurry. I'm just asking for directions. Suddenly, a trident struck the floor in front of me. I turned around and Poseidon revealed himself. So the mighty Ice Hydra has come to my domain to slay me? That's right. Unfortunately for you, I control all things of the ocean, including its monsters. Suddenly, a swarm of undead warriors came running at me. The drowned soldiers charged fast as lightning. I could barely react. They struck me with their swords, but I encased them in icy statues. Their numbers were overwhelming, but I was determined to win. Despite my efforts, I was losing the battle and my foes wouldn't go for my head. I need to upgrade. Time to make it happen. Just as an undead warrior came in close, I protected myself with one of my heads and lost it. I grew back two more, gained five hearts, and an ice spikes ability. Haha, <laughs> looks like my plan worked. Using my new power, I took out the remaining mob, leaving only Poseidon. You fiend, I'll make you pay. Poseidon charged in and went at me with all he had. His triton was true and dealt insane damage. The god of the sea became the god of ice sculptures thanks to my icy breath, but not for long. He jetted into the air with a stream of water, but I retaliated with my bow. I managed to overpower him with my new ability and defeat the god of the ocean. Upon his death, he dropped his trident, which I kept for myself. Another one down. Now with Poseidon defeated, I can go open that door. On days 44 through 47, I headed towards the door's location when suddenly the sky grew dark. Lightning began to strike all around me, forcing me to dodge and weave. What is happening? Ah! I looked up in the sky and spotted Zeus standing atop a small cloud. What the? How did you know I lived? I'm a god, you fool. You didn't think I'd hear of Poseidon's death? Zeus continued to throw down a barrage of lightning strikes, demonstrating his immense power over me. Every time I got zapped, he dealt massive damage. <laughs> can't handle a little lightning, Ice Hydra. I can't escape this. I need to stop him somehow. Just then, I realized I had Poseidon's trident. I took it and threw it up at Zeus, causing him to fall off the cloud. Take that. That's it. Zeus became enraged and transformed into a much stronger form. His body grew bigger and his eyes began to glow with power. Face my wrath! Lightning sparked around Zeus's body and he began charging at me with incredible speed. I couldn't dodge him and he was able to land a super punch that sent me flying. When I hit the ground, I only had a handful of hearts left. He's too powerful! I gotta hide! I quickly fled to a nearby cave and hid away from the powerful god. Come out, Ice Hydra! Face me! Nope! With nowhere else to go, I moved deeper into the cave. On days 48 through 50, I returned to the godly door from earlier and presented the trident to the entity. I see you have defeated Poseidon. Very well. You may now enter. The doors opened and I walked inside to see what sorts of secrets it held. 
To my surprise, Kratos was waiting for me. Kratos? From God of War? Greetings, fellow Godslayer. You freed me from this prison. Therefore, I'm in your debt. Sweet! Can you help me find another god to slay? How about my father, Zeus? Nah, he's too strong right now. What else you got? Hmm, Aphrodite? Now we're talking! I left with Kratos to find my next target. We traveled through multiple biomes until arriving at Aphrodite's domain. Be warned, Ice Hydra. She is powerful. Not only in strength, but also in beauty. We must not be swayed by the goddess. What's she gonna do? Make me fall in love with her? You'd be surprised. Let's go. With that, the two of us entered Aphrodite's territory. On days 51 through 54, Kratos and I entered the domain of Aphrodite only to be confronted by an army. Stand aside! No way! You're not laying a hand on my sweetie pie! Sweetie pie? She charmed the army. They're in love with her. Ew! The army charged in at us and we readied ourselves for battle. Kratos swooped in, dual wielding two powerful blades. He slashed through the army one by one and took them down with ease. I could tell that Kratos was an incredibly skilled swordsman and had been through numerous battles to gain his strength. While he went in close, I used my ice crystal to blast away at a distance. Between the two of us, the lovers fell one by one, but they didn't seem to stop coming. The army wouldn't let up. It seemed like more and more kept coming. Move ahead and find the goddess. I got this. I listened to him and continued my search for Aphrodite. I looked around everywhere until suddenly I found a beautiful lady standing at the shoreline. Well, well, well. The ice I just come to stop me. I'm flattered. Don't be. You're about to be defeated. Are you sure you really want to hurt me? She threw a strange potion at me. But to my surprise, Kratos jumped in front of me. The potion splashed onto him instead. Kratos? Are you okay? Hearts appeared all around Kratos. Aphrodite had hit him with a love potion. Don't you lay a hand on my sweetie pie. No, it's me, Max. Kratos, be a deer and kill the ice hydra for me. Yes, my sweet, I love you so much. I just want to see you so soon. Kratos wasn't listening to me. He ran at me with the intent to kill. On days 55 through 57, I continued my epic battle with Kratos. Kratos unleashed his powerful sword techniques onto me. I tried to wall him away by freezing the water around us, but he climbed on top of it and used it as a platform to get in closer. After a while, he switched to a mighty axe and tried to deal even more damage to me. I knew that this fight wasn't going in my favor and that I was going to lose soon if I couldn't change the tides. Although I was giving it everything I had, Kratos was still overpowering me. At this rate, I was going to lose. I decided to turn my attention to Aphrodite instead. Hey, get back here, God Slayer! I continued barreling forward. Aphrodite tried to make a run for it, but I caught up in time and eliminated her. Woohoo! Another one down! Upon her death, she dropped a golden apple. I picked it up and ate it, instantly changing my form. I was reduced back to three heads, but gained wings instead. I was now a flying ice hydra. Rawr! I also gained two hearts. Whoa, that apple really works. After my upgrade, Kratos walked up to me. What just happened? You just went through a breakup, big guy. The second she was defeated, the spell she had cast on you wore off. Thank goodness. I hated her. My plan is to take down the whole Greek pantheon. You in? Of course I am. On days 58 through 61, I arrived back at the base with Kratos. He needed a place to stay, so we built him a house near my old training grounds. I also added a garden and filled it with tons of wheat. It's perfect. There are so many targets here to beat up and cut in half. You're welcome. However, I think I may settle down here for a bit. Aren't you going to help me take out the rest of the gods? Our last fight made me realize that it's important to take a break now and then. But I think I know how I can still help you on your quest. The Ice Dragon Steel Axe! Thanks, Kratos! I won't let you down! I packed up Kratos' legendary Ice Dragon Steel Axe and was ready to leave. But just then, a letter dropped from the sky. Huh? You've been invited to the contest of champions. Test your might against only the strongest of foes. A prize will be awarded to the winner. Huh, I could use a little warm up before going up against the God of War. I better grab some supplies first. I went into the woods to hunt for some food. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Then I explored the caves and found diamonds. I used the diamonds to craft a helmet and a chest plate. Finally, I was ready to fight and headed straight for the Colosseum. On days 62 through 64, I arrived at the Contest of Champions. There, I noticed some contestants ready for battle. 
They were all super tough looking. Whoa, those guys are intense. Suddenly, the event began, and a god took the stand. Greetings, mortals. I am Hermes, messenger of the gods. And it is my greatest pleasure to address you all today at the Contest of Champions. This contest is not just about winning. It is about pushing yourself to your limits, testing your skills and abilities, and showcasing your true potential. Whether you win or die, the important thing is that you have given it your all and have left everything on the field. Win or die? Winners will be awarded with Apollo's Liar. Good luck, challengers. Let us begin. Hermes took two of the challengers and pitted them against each other. It was Talos versus the Greek Minotaur. We all watched as they both duked it out and fought to the death. Talos unleashed arrows onto the Minotaur, but the beast retaliated with attacks of his own. They packed a punch, but each time the Minotaur got too close, Talos would knock him back off. It was anyone's game. I thought Talos was the clear winner, but to my surprise, the Minotaur overpowered him. Talos fell in defeat. The Minotaur is the winner! The next challengers, please make your way to the field! I stepped on the field and was face to face with my first challenger, Garyon. You're going down, Ice Hydra! Ah! Garyon took out his spiked club and began to smash at me with it. I tried to slow him down right away with my ice crystal, but he was able to summon killer cows to do his bidding. I fought off him and his army using my ice spikes and frost breath abilities. Whenever I got the chance to come in close, I used my ice dragon bone sword and my ice dragon steel axe to drop his health bit by bit. To my surprise, the Ice Dragon Seal Axe dealt massive damage. In only a few blows, Garyon fell. Although the battle was tough, I was able to take down Garyon. Woohoo! Congratulations, Ice Hydra! Now, it's time for our final bout. Please enter the stage, the Bronze Bull! Let's do this! And with that, I charge into my next battle. I fought head-on the horrifying bronze bull. He charged forward with his armored horns and breathed powerful fire attacks at me. I knew one too many hits from the flames would be deadly, so I took to the skies and fired arrows at him from afar. Unfortunately, the arrows bounced right off of his bronze armor. I had to be careful if I wanted to win this fight. I used my frost breath and ice dragon seal axe to try and slow him down whenever I had a chance. Once I had him stuck in my ice, I used my ice spikes to deal massive damage. The battle was fierce, but with one final blow, the bronze bull went down. We have ourselves a winner! Oh, yeah. Hermes handed over the grand prize to me. What message do you have for the gods? Tell Ares that I challenge him to a fight to the death. The audience went silent. Everyone was shocked by my answer. Ooh, that's not a good message. Suddenly, Ares appeared onto the field in an epic blaze of fire. Who dares challenge the god of war? I do. You? Ha! You don't even have an army. Why would I fight you? Come back with your men, and then we'll battle. But I can take you on now! Are you sure? Ares began to shoot powerful fire attacks at me. They were so strong that one too many would have ended me. Maybe an army isn't a bad idea. On days 69 through 72, I returned to the base to ask some of my friends to join my army. No way am I fighting Ares. That's a death sentence. Do you know anyone else who could help? The Ice Mages of the East had their village ravaged by Ares. They might be willing to help you. I began to head eastwards in search of the Ice Mages. After a lot of traveling, I discovered a snowy village full of tree stumps. What happened to all of the trees? My goodness, it's the Ice Hydra. You have come to save us from the Lumberjack. Who? The horrible monster that has been destroying all the trees in our village. If I do, will you guys help me take down Ares? Anything for you, great icy one. With our deal made, I began to dig a hole in front of one of the live trees as bait. I knew the monster that was capable of leveling so much of the village couldn't be an easy opponent, so a trap would be our best bet. I waited until nightfall and suddenly a massive illager with an axe came storming through the village. Smash! He spotted me and charged me with his weapon swinging. I did my best to evade him and gradually led him towards my trap. After a while, I managed to make him fall inside. Gotcha! With the lumberjack stuck, I unleashed my ice powers on him and defeated him quickly. 
He did it! He saved us! Then it looks like I got myself an army. On days 73 through 76, I returned to Ares with my army. I see you actually managed to assemble a group of soldiers. Very well, you may challenge me. Like clockwork, all of his soldiers began to charge forward. You know what time it is, men! Charge! And with that, the epic battle began. The Spartans clashed in the center with my icy mages. Both were incredibly strong, and it was hard to tell who would win the fight. They went back and forth, using teamwork to try and overwhelm each other hit by hit. While both factions were distracted with one another, I fought it out with Ares. Ares was able to use powerful fire attacks that dealt massive damage to my ice body. I did my best to use my wings and evade his attacks, but he was the most skilled warrior I had faced so far. He had the ability to firewalk and hit me up close with his powerful blade. I retaliated with my ice spikes and frost breath, but the god stormed through it with the power of his flames. Despite my efforts, I was beginning to lose, but I had one more trick up my sleeve. Now, men, attack! Suddenly, my secret backup army came in for a surprise attack. What? This can't be! That's War Tactics 101. Thanks to the power of my army, I managed to defeat the god of war. Upon his death, I gained five hearts and his shield. We did it! Just as I thought things were calming down, I spotted a lightning strike in the distance. Zeus was coming! Retreat! On days 77 through 80, I retreated with my army and made it home before Zeus could attack us. That was close. I'm not ready to fight him just yet. My army was worn down from the battle, so I handed out food for them all to heal up. Thank you, sir. It was an honor to serve you. Actually, I have one more surprise for you. I got to work on adding additional housing for my Ice Mage friends to call their own. I added everything they could need to be comfortable. This is amazing. Thank you. My army settled in, and I continued to expand the base as a whole. I added a weapons room so that my army would be well equipped, along with enough houses for everyone to sleep in. I also gave my base a hydra pad so that I could land easier from the sky. With that, my expansion was complete. Time to find the last of the guys. Before I could leave, a boy with wings flew up to me. Who are you? I'm Icarus. I heard you got your wings recently. How about I teach you some cool moves? That could come in handy. You got yourself a deal. On days 81 through 83, I took to the sky with Icarus. Your wings look pretty cool. Thanks. They're made of wax and feathers. Check out how high I can fly. Icarus flew upwards and I tailed behind. But the closer we got to the sun, the hotter I was beginning to feel. This doesn't feel safe for an ice hydra or someone with wax wings. No, it's fine. I'll show you. Watch this. Icarus flew even higher and suddenly his wings evaporated into thin air. Duh! He plummeted towards the ground and I swooped down to save him. I made it in the lick of time and saved Icarus before he fell to his doom. Okay, maybe the sun was too hot. Sorry, take this as an apology. He handed me over a chicken potion. What does this do? Just use it in a pinch. You'll see. Well, thanks. I'm glad you're safe. Suddenly, a giant boar emerged before us. It didn't look like an ordinary animal. Something was off about it. Run, Icarus! I got this! On days 84 through 87, I led the boar away from Icarus into a plains biome. All right, piggy, let's see what you got. I began to go at the boar with everything I had, but it was far stronger than any average animal I had faced before. What the? Is it empowered by a god? I froze the boar instantly, but he broke out of my ice without any trouble. He dug his tusks into Aerie's shield and broke it into pieces. Hey, I just got that! I bit into him with my icy breath, but that just made him angry. I was unable to take out the beast, so I flew away to get some space from them. As I fled, I spotted an innocent bystander staring at his reflection in the lake. You gotta get out of here! A crazy boar is on the loose! And lose sight of my beautiful reflection? Mm, I think not. Ugh, come on! I had to get this guy to move before the boar arrived, so I froze the lake over to stop him from admiring himself. Hey, I was using that lake. Suddenly, the boar charged in and killed the narcissist where he stood. I tried to warn you! While the boar was distracted, I unleashed all of my ice power to try and slow him down. Finally, I managed to conceal the beast in ice. Whew. Just then, I noticed it had dropped a letter on the floor during its rampage, so I picked it up to give it a look. Pursue the Ice Hydra at all costs. I, the goddess of the hunt, will defeat the Ice Hydra before he can get to Zeus. I'm being hunted by Artemis? Suddenly, magical arrows began to fly in my direction and narrowly miss me. She's here! Run! On days 88 through 91, Artemis was hot on my tail, shooting arrows at me left and right. 
She was the final god I needed to defeat before taking on Zeus, but she wasn't gonna make it easy on me. Her onslaught continued until I was able to find cover. How am I supposed to outsmart a hunter? Suddenly, I heard growling. I looked over to discover a massive harpy had found me. She's overpowering the animals of the forest to help her! I unleashed my powerful ice attacks to try and slow down the beast. Unfortunately for me, they were far too powerful. I tried to use my bow, but my arrows did nothing to hinder it. My trident soared through the air. She brushed it off like it was nothing. Just then, I remembered the potion I had gotten from Icarus. I tossed the potion at her and suddenly she transformed into a chicken. I took the chance to fly into the sky and escape the monster. That should get me some distance. I landed in another hiding spot to catch my breath. Before I could react, Artemis stepped out before me. What the? Surrender now, Ice Hydra. No matter where you run, I will find you. I'm not losing to you! She fired more arrows at me and I flew away as fast as I could. I can't win without a surprise attack. I'll have to go from prey to the predator. On days 92 through 94, I came up with a plan to catch Artemis off guard. I made a trail of hydro tracks in the snow to make it look like I had traveled in that direction. Once I was done, I planted a trap at the end for Artemis to fall into. I found a hiding spot and waited for the huntress to find my trail. After a lot of waiting, I finally spotted the goddess following my tracks. She foolishly made a misstep and fell into my trap. Gotcha! At that moment, I came out of hiding and blasted Artemis with all the powers I had. I managed to get a lot of damage onto her before she was able to jump out of the trap. You fiend! You'll pay for this. The goddess had incredible jumping abilities as well as a sharp aim. She threw a volley of enchanted arrows at me that would burn me whenever I got hit. I had to be careful, otherwise their flames could be lethal to my ice body. Artemis jumped and shot her arrows at me, but I was able to use my ice powers to freeze her. Once she was frozen, she was unable to jump. I went at her with all of my different ice abilities, including my frost breath and ice crystal. Whenever I could get in close, I would use my axe and sword to strike her down for more damage. We fought and fought, but thanks to my surprise attack, she was too weak to win. I managed to take out the final god that stood in my way. Woohoo! I gained five more hearts and the ability to wield Artemis's bow. I feel even stronger than before Zeus took my power. Not for long. Just then, lightning struck down and Zeus appeared in front of me. On days 95 through 97, I was face to face with the God of Thunder. You monster! You've killed all six of my friends and family! You should have never interfered with me! I told you I'd get my land back! I'd check the state of your base before talking so high and mighty. What did you do to my friends? I made those traitors see the power of a real god! Suddenly, clouds gathered in the sky and Zeus unleashed a powerful thunderstorm. Lightning struck all around me, setting the ground on fire. This heat is weakening my powers. The fire continued to weaken me more and more, forcing me to retreat. I quickly rushed back to the base to find that it was badly damaged by the hands of Zeus. Danny was wounded gravely and was alone on the ground. Danny, what happened? Looks like Zeus found us. Please, Max, don't let my life end in vain. Finish what we set out to do. Before I could respond, Danny died in front of me. Ah, no! Rage filled my heart and I knew what I had to do. I was gonna make Zeus pay. On day 98, I started the final preparations before facing the God of Thunder. First, I patched up some of the damage done to the base. Afterwards, I extinguished all the fires that were remaining. Finally, I brought this place back to its former glory. I started my final expansion by first transforming Danny's room into a memorial to remember him by. I even planted Medusa's favorite flowers around it so he could know his friends were close by. Next, I added a massive Ice Hydra statue behind my base. I wanted everyone to know that this was my domain, and anyone who sided with Zeus would face my wrath. With that, my frozen Hydra base was finally completed. I won't let you down, Danny. As I admired my work, Medusa slithered up to me. Are you about to head out? Yeah, that god doesn't stand a chance. Before you go, take this. She handed me a potion of strength to aid me in battle. I won't let you down. With everything completed, I began my journey back to my original temple. On day 99, I arrived at the temple to find that it had now had an extravagant stairway to Olympus. Just as I was about to journey upwards, a horde of taluses came to stop me. Defend the mighty Zeus! Out of my way! I unleashed my ice attacks onto the swarm and fought them off one by one. As a group, they all shot a barrage of arrows at me. I tried to send arrows back using Artemis' bow, but it was ineffective on their bronze armor. Well, I guess that's not gonna work. I switched tactics and began to use my ice spikes on them. This was much more effective and dealt damage to all of them as a group. They were still able to fire huge amounts of arrows at me, so I used my frost breath to try and freeze them in place. 
This slowed them down enough for me to get in close with my Ice Dragon Steel Axe. I smashed through their defenses hit by hit, until they started to fall. The battle was tough, but I defeated the last of the goons. With the path cleared, I ascended the stairs to Olympus. On day 100, I arrived at the heavenly realm of Olympus. Waiting for me was none other than Zeus himself. I figured you'd come here. It's time to end this! I'm taking back this world and avenging Danny! That satyr got what he deserved. Nobody betrays the god of thunder. Well, nobody messes with the Ice Hydra. You're going down! Zeus sprouted angel wings, and the two of us charged at each other and began the final battle. Zeus was an incredibly powerful god, and demonstrated his might with his powerful lightning attacks. He summoned bolts from the sky above and empowered himself with electricity. Normally, I had the edge with my wings, but now that he could fly as well, he had the ability to come in close for any attack he wished. If it wasn't for my regeneration abilities, I would have been finished in a matter of seconds. The two of us clashed in an epic aerial battle, trying to overpower each other the best we could. I used all the ice powers I had in my arsenal to try and take on the head god, including my frost breath and ice dragon steel axe. Each attack I landed dealt loads of damage on Zeus, but it still wasn't enough. He managed to take each hit and retaliated with his own attacks tenfold. He continued to zap me down with everything he had while I tried to freeze him in place. The battle raged on and on, but it was too tough. I was beginning to lose when suddenly I spotted the artifact from day one in the corner of the arena. My powers! I rushed towards the base and smashed it, releasing the power that Zeus had taken from me. I grew larger and more powerful than ever before. I even gained 10 additional hearts. How do you like me now? I returned back to the battle and blasted away with my newly empowered ice abilities. In my new state, I dealt loads more damage and began to overwhelm Zeus. I froze Zeus from the sky above, causing him to fall in a block of ice. The god desperately tried to retaliate with his attacks by sending pillars of lightning down from the sky around him. Unfortunately for him, the lack of mobility would be fatal. I kept attacking more and more, not giving him a single moment to breathe. I was determined to take him down here and now, and this was my chance. No! This cannot be! Finally, the god fell to my incredible power. I once again ruled over the land. I did it! Don't forget to get the best free multiplayer game around. Download War Thunder today and get tons of goodies if you're new or haven't entered for more than six months. Thanks War Thunder for sponsoring the video.